What's going on guys? Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. This is tips, tricks, and cool features for the Blue V91. In this video, I'm going to be going over some different tips and tricks for this phone that you might not know about. Now before we go any further, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel a lot. That being said, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the prevent ringing feature. What this basically does is quickly puts your phone into vibrate mode without you having to go into the settings. This is really useful if you're doing something like going to a movie or if you're in a meeting or something like that where you have to silence your phone temporarily and you don't want to waste time messing around with your settings. So all you need to do is press and hold the power key and the volume up key at the same time and this is going to come up. And that's pretty much it. It's a super easy feature to use that can be useful sometimes. The next thing I'm going to show you is what's called the nightlight. This basically tints your screen in an amber color and helps filter out some of that blue light that can be hard on your eyes. So to get to this, we're going to go to settings, display, and nightlight right here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is turn it on. And then if you want to schedule it, sometimes it helps to have a blue light filter on at night, which is probably why it's called night light. But in order to schedule it, you can hit schedule right here and you can have it go from sunset to sunrise or you can do your own custom time. Now, the other part of night light that I think is pretty cool is the intensity slider. You can make it really slight or really strong. The next thing I'm going to show you is a cool way to take a screenshot. If you're used to smartphones in general, or if you saw the beginner's guide before this, you probably know that the way to take a screenshot on this phone is by pressing and holding the power key and the volume down key at the same time. Typical way to take a screenshot, but there's also a second way. All you need to do is put three fingers on the screen and swipe like this and that's gonna take a screenshot too. Now by default, this feature isn't typically activated, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to settings, hit intelligent assistance, and make sure three finger screenshot is toggled on because this feature needs to be activated in order for it to work. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a quick way to access your camera. Double tap the power key real quick, and this is gonna open up. It's gonna ask you which app you wanna use. If there are multiple apps on your phone, like Snapchat, Open Camera, all that, they can use the camera. Once you select the app, all you need to do is just hit just once or always, depending on how you wanna run it. And then it's gonna open up. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to get the battery percentage on the actual icon right here. So as you can see right now, there's no battery percentage. But if you slide this down real quick, you're gonna see the battery percentage right here. And that's a little weird. I've never seen it actually inside the tiny battery icon, but let me show you how to get it on the status bar at all times. So we're gonna go to the settings, system, battery, and now we're in the battery settings screen. Lots of different cool features here. What you're gonna wanna do is toggle on battery percentage, and it's gonna show right up there. If you ever wanna turn it off again, then simply just toggle it back off. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a real good tool for multitasking, and that is split screen mode. So say we're on Google Chrome and there's another app you wanna use. So all you're gonna do is take three fingers, put it on the screen and swipe up. And this is gonna activate split screen mode where you can open several different apps that are compatible with it and use them at the same time. If you wanna turn off split screen mode, all you need to do is drag this little bar down and then it's gonna be back to normal. Before you get into this though, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the feature is actually activated. To do this, you're gonna to go to settings, intelligent assistance, and make sure this is toggled on. This is the feature that you're gonna need in order to do this. The next thing I'm gonna show you is dark theme. Dark theme is really popular and really easy to activate. All you're gonna to need to do is go to settings, display, and toggle on dark theme. Once it's on, that's pretty much all there is to it. 
Unfortunately, there's not a way to schedule this one like there is in lots of other phones, but you can at least have it on whether you like the aesthetic of it or if you're using it for more practical reasons. Either way, it's a good thing to know about. The next thing I'm gonna show you is what's called adaptive brightness. Basically, what adaptive brightness does is ensures that your screen is always gonna be bright enough for you, but it also is not gonna have it too bright so it won't waste your battery. To turn this feature on, you're gonna hit settings, display, and adaptive brightness. Once this is on, your screen is immediately gonna change based on the environment. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a feature that lots of phones in this price range don't have. In fact, this is more something I would expect to see in a higher end phone as opposed to an entry level phone like this. This is the ability to change the color mode. Let me show you what I mean. So let's go to settings, display, and right here, screen color mode. As you can see by default, it's set to standard, but we can actually change it to vivid and you can also customize it if you wanna change the exact cool to warmth ratio. But let's do vivid and see what the difference is. Now, if you're looking at a phone that's a little bit of a step up from this, like say the Samsung Galaxy A52 or something like that that has a super AMOLED display, typically they're gonna have a feature like this and it's gonna be automatically set to vivid. Vivid is basically gonna have stronger, brighter, better looking colors. And since this phone does have a real nice looking display, for just being 720p, it's nice to have this option. With the vivid color mode, you can already see it's so much brighter and nice looking, but be aware that this is gonna drain the battery just a little bit more. Although, since this phone does have such a large battery, it really can afford it if you wanna use it. The last thing I'm gonna show you is how to switch the screen display area. Now this might sound a little weird, but basically what you can do is have a black bar go above this part right here so the camera isn't cutting off part of the display. Let me show you what I mean because it makes a lot more sense when you see it versus when I try to describe it. So let's go to settings. We're going to hit display. Switch screen display area. And now we have the option to have it by default or we can exclude the top of the screen from the display area which looks like this. I personally would never do this, but if you want to and it looks better to you, then by all means, definitely do it. But these were some tips, tricks, and cool features for the Blue V91. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you found the information useful as well. If you want to get more information about the phone itself, definitely check out my full review of this phone on the channel. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. But that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.